Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Parviz Jafari, and I'm a retired general of Iranian Air Force. At about 11 p.m. on the evening of 18 September 1976, citizens were frightened by circling of an unknown object over Tehran, the capital city of Iran, at a low altitude. It looked similar to a star, but bigger and brighter. They reported it to the tower and was seen by Tower Man too. He alerted the Air Force Command Post and Deputy General Yusefi decided to scramble an F4J to investigate. The pilot in the first jet lost instrumentation and communication when he got too close to the brilliant object, so he headed back. About 10 minutes later, they scrambled a second jet which I was piloting. At the time, I was a squadron commander. I approached the object, which was flashing with intense red, green, orange, and blue. The light was so bright that I was not able to see its body. The sequence of flashes was extremely fast, like a strobe light. We locked on it with radar at, it was at 30 degrees left, at range of 25 miles. The size on the radar scope was comparable to that of a 707 tanker. Four other objects with different shapes separated from the main one at different times during the, this close encounter. Whenever they were close to me, my weapon were jammed and my radio communications were garbled. One of the objects headed toward me. I thought it was a missile. I tried to launch a heat seeker missile to it, but my missile panel went out. Another followed me when I was descending on the way back. One of the separated objects landed in an open area radiating a high bright light in which the sands on the ground were visible. We could hear emergency squash at all the way, which was reported by other airliners flying at the time and continued for another couple of days. During my interview at headquarters, after the incident, the American Lieutenant Colonel Alan Moy took notes, but after it was over, I could not find him to talk with. Later at once, later once classified document was released here in America through the Freedom of Information Act. The Defense Intelligence Agency documented the event in a great detail, and it was sent to NSA, the White House, and the CIA. The DIA assessment said this case is a classic that meets all necessary conditions for a legitimate study of the UFO phenomena. Then I would be happy to answer questions and tell you more. Thank you.